It's time now for French Connections, our weekly look at the intricacies of life here in France with Florence Villeneuve. Hi, Flo. Mean. Lots of focus on Easter celebrations. Easter, of course, celebrated in many parts of the world, but there are some very French particularities. That's right. Like many other historically Catholic uh, countries, France is a big fan of Easter. It's known as PAC here, PAC plural, uh, and it's arguably the most important celebration uh, for Christians marking the resurrection of uh, Jesus. Now, in France, it's a, a traditional gathering for families, whether they're religious or not, uh, usually either on Easter Sunday or Easter Monday, which is a bank holiday here. And of course, as all things French, PAC involves a meal, and there's a traditional meal uh, that you eat in France. You can see it happening here. Essentially, it's lamb in some way, shape, or form. But there's one uh, one meal in particular. It's the gigot d'agneau, so the leg of lamb. And one way to prepare it is the gigot de sept heures, so it's cooked for seven hours. Uh, and it's traditionally eaten with uh, flageolet, which are white beans. Uh, and it's definitely a French classic. The meat is tender, tasty, delicious. Eastern lamb has been a family tradition for generations. It's important to pass it on. It's a quasi-religious tradition. Easter lamb and beans topped with flavorful gravy. And that's how it's done. Mm, that looks so delicious. All right. In addition to the lamb, of course, another integral part of Easter here in France, like in other parts of the world, is chocolate. It's certainly not a French thing, but there are some particularities to Easter chocolate in France. Easter is actually the, the second biggest uh, sales moment for chocolate just after Christmas, not Valentine's Day. Uh, and people buy... 15,000 tons of chocolate <laughs> over a three-day period at Easter. And a lot of people go for quantity over quality. 80% of French people buy their chocolate in a supermarket because it's a lot cheaper. In fact, uh, people tend to spend about 20 euros on average. I really buy big pieces. I have two little girls, so I buy all sorts of little trinkets so that they can hunt for them all over the place. Now, of course, Easter is also a major selling period for more artisan chocolate makers, if you like. Indeed, because remember that at the industrial level, uh, chocolate made uh, for Easter is made one year in advance. So some people want to go for better quality. Uh, and France being France, it's not uh, just simple chocolate. There are, are some very uh, French particularities. It's all about gastronomy and tradition, especially when it comes to the shapes that these chocolate pieces come in. They're chocolate eggs, of course, but they're also other signs of spring, like rabbits, chickens, lambs, uh, fish, uh, and bells. We'll get back to the bells in a minute. Now, what's really, really interesting, and you can see it happening here, chocolate makers really pour their heart and soul into their creations. They're the bells. Uh, and all, all excuses are good to buy uh, these beautiful chocolate creations. For a chocolate maker, Easter is the best period. You can really let your creativity go wild. We really have a fun time. What makes us happy is to see the look of wonder on our clients' faces. When you see kids smiling at your creations, it means you've won. Wow, macaroon flowers! I'm looking for quality chocolate, but also a work of art. It has magnesium in it. It gives you energy. It's an antidepressant. It really works. You have to believe it. <laughs> now, like in many other parts of the world, uh, kids here in France go on egg hunts, if you like Easter egg hunts, a chasse aux oeufs, like we call it here. But the egg deliverer isn't actually the traditional Easter bunny like it is in other parts of it the world. It isn't the Easter bunny, though there have been attempts to bring the Easter bunny to France. Traditionally, it's actually the cloche de Pâques, and this is our word du jour, words du jour, the Easter bells. The Easter <laughs> bells bring treats to France. What in the world is the story behind the Easter bells? Lots of people have been asking me here at France 24. Uh, actually, so on Good Friday, the Friday before Easter, all the church bells go to uh, the Vatican. They grow wings and they fly to the Vatican <laughs> to be blessed by the Pope. And so no church bells actually re uh, ring between Friday uh, and Sunday when they ring to mark the resurrection of, of Jesus. Uh, now, when they come back from Italy, on their way back, they bring these little treats. They bring souvenirs, I guess, for children, children who have been good, uh, and so chocolate eggs. Uh, they quite literally fall from the sky, although apparently bells aren't always very good at hiding the eggs. The bells have come. It's fun. They aren't very well hidden. You can see all the eggs. 
That sounds like my daughter. <laughs> all right. Now, of course, non-Catholics celebrate Easter for all of the secular fun with the chocolates and everything. But Easter is still very much a Christian holiday, much more than Christmas, even, you might say. And for many people, that's what it really is above all else. Indeed. And there are some very public Easter celebrations uh, in France. It's not uncommon on Good Friday, for instance, to see reenactments of the crucifixion, the way of the cross in public. Uh, for instance, we'll be able to see some uh, images. Uh, these are actually from, from Corsica. I believe, uh, where uh, Easter is a big tradition. There also uh, will be able to see some uh, images of a reenactment of the Way of the Cross in front of the Sacré Coeur in Montmartre. Here they are. Uh, and I've seen it happen in front of the Eiffel Tower as well. And why not? Except for remember that France is a secular country. Uh, and that means that, in theory, by law, religious ceremonies are banned from public space. And, and recently, for instance, there have been examples of Muslims being banned from paying, uh, praying in the street. And what's interesting is if you ask French people, some of them say that, you know, just like for nativity scenes, they say that Easter is it's a traditional thing. It's not necessarily a Catholic thing. Uh, but it does beg the question, because Easter Monday is a public holiday here in France, and it's not the only one. If we take a look at the 11 bank holidays that there are in France, you can see that six are traditionally Christian celebrations. So that goes for Christmas, of course, but the, you know, Ascension, Whit Monday, etc. Six of these 11 are traditionally Catholic uh, celebrations. It's an example of France's somewhat ambiguous uh, relationship with religion. Some say that there's a du double standard and uh, Catholics get away with things that other religions don't. Uh, we'll have to explore that, of course, in another episode of French Connection. We certainly will, because it is a very thorny issue here in France. Thanks so much for that, Florence Villeneuve. Okay. And don't forget, if you want to ask Flo any other questions about other things you're curious about here in France, you can send her a tweet at Flo Villeneuve.